One week ago, Discord dropped a bomb on the client modification community. What has happened is Discord pushed an update that kind of broke better Discord and all the other client modifications. So to start off, I'm going to explain what happened. Well, I'm not going to. Leah wrote this fantastic post, and I'm just going to read a part of it and dissect it for us normal human beings that don't understand code. As of September 26, Discord has switched from Babel to SWC for minification. Now, Ducko, the Goose Mod developer, basically told me they just did some code coding magic to make Discord a little bit faster, and the unfortunate side effect is that this change has broke the existing methods that client modders use to make stuff like better Discord or other client modifications. Now this begs the question, is Discord doing this in some sort of anti-client modification tirade? Like I saw this post on Twitter, which is satire by the way, this is not at all intentional, but this satirical post is basically saying an irregularity with your Discord client has been detected and it's against the terms of service and you will be banned. This is obviously a joke, but I want to make it clear that Discord didn't release this update to specifically stop client modifications. I've talked to a couple of Discord client mod developers and I asked, did Discord do this on purpose? And the overwhelming response was no. It's just the way it is, you know, Discord's doing updates and we have to move around it. It wasn't an intentional update to try and destroy client mods. So, you know, take off your tinfoil hats and use your brain. So now that that's out of the way, no one's crazy anymore thinking Discord's about to blow up Better Discord HQ. Let's talk about the status of each client mod. So Better Discord, the most popular one I've talked about right now is rebuilding itself from the rubble. You're allowed to use themes and stuff. It works perfectly fine with themes. However, plugins are hit and miss because the thing is, is that better Discord plugins, they have to be rewritten to work with this new Discord update, which is a lot of work, like a lot of work rewriting your whole entire plugin just to work with this new version of Discord. And it really does tire out a lot of the developers of these plugins because you're doing this work just for free. It's a passion project and having to stay updated and on top of all these updates can be extremely overwhelming and extremely tiring. If you go to the better Discord Discord server, wow, that's a mouthful. You can see plugin compilation error update tracker, which allows you to see the status of each plugin and see whether or not they work or not. So there have been some, you know, specific plugins that did get discontinued. Like channel tabs, they dropped support, which is upsetting. I really do like that plugin. And let me make it clear, these developers aren't getting paid to do this. This is a passion project. You should not expect them to develop a plugin for you. You are not entitled to that. I'm not entitled for them to develop a plugin for me because I like it. This is their passion project, and we're just appreciating the fact that they made this for us. So don't be rude or mean to a plugin developer or any one of these developers for, my better Discord isn't working. Like, they're trying their best, and being annoying like that, it's just making it way worse for them, and most of them probably will just get pissed off and stop working on it altogether, so now you'll have to wait longer and longer. So, please, give these people some time. Let them make their own plugins, let them make their own decisions, because, once again, you're not entitled to Better Discord or any other plugins or any client modification whatsoever. So, that's Better Discord, they're working on it. You can have themes, some plugins work, some plugins don't work, and some plugins are completely discontinued. Now, next up is PowerCord, and PowerCord actually reached end of life before the update, like, this was actually a while ago, and the reason why is just because it was a massive project, and it's hard for people to maintain a massive project like this. So it's been discontinued. It's no longer a thing. However, some people have created Replugged, which is basically just power cord, but version two, like kind of a, a revival of it. Now, Replugged actually has the same issues as all the other client mods. You know, plugins don't work anymore and they're working their best to try and fix it. Right now, they do not plan on going end of life. That means they're not discontinuing the project. They're working hard on it. And right now I've talked to them and they're working really hard on making themes work. They did give me a time frame of it should be working by tonight, which is technically already passed since this video has been uploaded, but I'm not sure. If you want to stay updated, just go on their Discord server. Links will always be in the description, and you can just see in the announcements channel. Now, next up is OpenSR, and OpenSR I talked about before. It's basically a file that you put in your Discord folder. It adds some additional functionality. Right now, it is good. It has custom CSS and theme support, but some of the functionality might be a little hit or miss. Now, the unfortunate thing I want to talk about is GooseMod and Topaz are discontinued. Now, now, Topaz, I've never talked about it before on the channel, but it was basically a client.
client mod that promised to be more secure and also intercompatible with like power cord and better discord it was literally like the the cream of the crop in terms of what it promised to do unfortunately though since this discord update got pushed all that hard work just got annihilated so there's really not much we can do we can maybe ask discord to like try and make updates less destructive but once again discord doesn't focus on oh let's make sure our new update works with client mods they don't care discord is a company and the only thing they care about is making money and making the user experience as good as possible so people spend more money yay consumerism and finally from ducko there's polymod which is basically kind of like theming for multiple websites so we're talking like revolt gilded slack youtube google basically that's still going but the, it has very basic discord support so at least it is useful and also definitely check out polymod because it looks very promising i want to check out after i record this now i really hate to hit you with some more bad news but cumcord yes cumcord the discord client modification is officially being discontinued due to this update so in Creatable's words, it's no longer worth it. However, Creatable is working on apparently another mod. It's woo, it's kind of, it's it's hidden for now, but hopefully we do see a, another funny client mod. But if that's not the case, I'll always rewatch Creatable's How to Easily Install Cumcord, which is a hilarious video. Link will be in the description. It's funnier than my content. Now, for some good news, Vencord, which is a client modification I've never talked about, is fully functional. We're talking, it's got custom CSS and it's got some plugins that work. You know, that's a, a fair list of plugins. Just keep in mind that this client modification to install it you need to have node.js and git installed so this is for people who like understand computers and coding if you're someone who just wants a very easy solution better discord is kind of the way to go however if you want to be more of that coding nerd and you want to go wild this might be a fantastic option now moving on to kind of mobile client mods so we're talking alucord which i've talked about before uh, nothing has happened because it was a client update for the desktop. However, Alucord did go through the same thing on August 2nd because the new Android app had some new framework and they had to do a whole bunch of work, but it's all good. See, most if not all plugins should work. Awesome sauce. And they did that in two days. Holy moly, that's fast. So yeah, it's good. It's a live project and it's it's continued ongoing. And that good news continues for iOS client mod Enmity. I think I got the pronunciation right. I did have to Google it and listen to someone talking to me saying the word it's working it's it's just straight cruising baby because it didn't have to deal with this update but it's a client mod for ios if you want to check it out so hopefully whatever i just said in the past handful of minutes was somewhat coherent and comprehensive in explaining what's going on with the client modification space and also hopefully i introduced you to some new client mods that you can check out if you're on ios or android or you want something with a little bit more coding pizzazz anyways just keep in mind that these developers they aren't being paid to do this work it's a passion project so give them tons of time don't be rude and try to figure out stuff you're yourself. I mean, Google does exist for a reason, and so does their announcements and support channels. At least try to help yourself before just saying, please help me. I don't want to Google stuff. Anyways, links to every single one of these communities and their respective client mods will be in the description. Check them out. I love you. I'm going to go eat pizza now. Bye-bye.